Hello guys, this is a new Blender 2.81 video, in which I want to show you some new transform features. We start with the default cube in object mode and I press the N key to open the tool panel. And here we have a sub panel called transform with a feature called effect only. This means when we transform an object, it affects only origins, locations or parents. Ok, so let's see what this means. The first one is origins. When I check this, an X, Y and Z gizmo appears. And this indicates where the origin is. At the moment it is at the center of the geometry. But let's suppose we want to move it to a corner. Ok, so go to the snapping and choose vertex. Then I enable the snapping. And when I press the G key now to move the selected object, you can see that the origin is moved and it is snapped to the corner. You can snap it to this corner or this one as well, to each vertex that you like. And when I uncheck this again and for example press the R key to rotate the object, you can see it is rotated around the new origin. It's a very nice improvement. To reset the origin you can for example press the F3 key, search for set origin and select origin to geometry. If you want to set the origin to a face, for example this one, use snapping to faces, effects only again set to origin and then I use the move tool and move this till it snaps to this face. Or to this one. Really a nice feature. Ok, but there is more, let's have a look at the locations effects only setting. This is a kind of locking your object to a move transform. This means when I try to rotate the object now or to scale it, it doesn't work. We can just move it and when I uncheck this I can scale and rotate again. Alright, and the last one is effects only parents. This is a nice one that I missed a lot. Let's add a new object and set the cube as a parent of this. For example an ecosphere and move it over here. Ok, this object is selected, then I select the cube and press Ctrl and P to define the cube as the parent of the ecosphere. The normal behavior is when I transform a parent, when I move it or scale it or rotate it, it affects the child objects as well and this is in most cases, well, the behavior that you want. But there might be situations where you want to transform the parent and you don't want the child objects to be affected by this transform, so now you can check effects only parents and have a look at this, the transform operation has no effect on the child object transform. And now uncheck it again and return to the default behavior. Alright, another feature that I want to show you is mirror in edit mode. You also find it in the tool panel. But as I said, it is only available in edit mode, so I turn to edit mode and subdivide this cube a few times. Yes, I know I could also use the operator parameters, but I love to use this new right click context menu. And have a look here in the sidebar, we have the options for mirror X, Y and Z. It's nice to have this now, it's kind of mirror modifier without having to define a modifier. And to demonstrate this I select a vertex. And then I use this button here to enable proportional editing. Then I press the G key to move this vertex and here you can see it is mirrored for the X axis. And now you can ask why not using a mirror modifier for this, well perhaps the model is not perfectly symmetrical. Or you don't want to cut away one half of the mesh to be able to add a mirror modifier, right? Ok, so I speed this up here a bit, you can see you can create very nice and interesting shapes. And you can always subdivide this even more and then for example go to sculpt mode and use the crab brush with this great new creamy smooth fall off. Or you go ahead and use the scrape brush to add some even more interesting things. Oh guys, I have to say it's hard to stop creating stuff with this amazing software. 
So hope you like this new feature videos. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, then be my patron, follow me on my Instagram and if you have any questions, then just add these to the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this, thanks for your support and I see you soon in the next one.